Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for a current household update on my girl Amy. I wanted to share with you some of the big changes that have recently happened in her life. If you've been watching my videos recently, then you probably have a good idea as to what I'm about to share with you. The first thing that I want to talk about, and there's going to be a lot of chit chat in this video, I might do a little bit of gameplay. We'll see though, because I'm not exactly sure how much time I'm going to have. My eight month old is currently watching an educational video that hopefully will buy me some time. First, let me share with you what I have been up to because I think it's pretty amazing and I'm very proud of it. And then also we're going to talk about the base game update that happened today. Why not just kill two birds with one stone? So Amy has recently made the grand move to Rockridge. You're probably like, what the hell is Rockridge? Well, Rockridge is a world that I personally handcrafted using the tool mod, meaning I went in and I placed down all of these shells, right? To give the illusion that this part of Evergreen Harbor is actually a small town. And I really love the way that it turned out. So over here, this is Amy's house. This is actually one lot entirely. I did a speed build on this. And then this building over here is just a shell. So it gives the illusion that Amy has neighbors without me having to create a separate building, which is great because then when I drop down the walls on her home, it won't automatically drop down the walls on the home next to her. Again, just giving the illusion that we have neighbors. That's the type of vibe that I'm trying to go with. But let me show you all what else I've done because it's actually quite a bit. So on this street here, there was no trees. There were some on this side, but I wanted to add trees on both sides. I just really liked the way that that looked. To add more realism, I decided to place down various different vehicles and things like that. I also added a couple things to the shelves. There's things I can't necessarily delete like the mail box that was in front of the home that was underneath this building but I could add in other things to kind of support it like these little newspaper stands and then if we move down here you'll see that I've also added in another building and this is actually the martial arts studio that I built like a couple days ago there's a little cafe over here so if you wanted to grab a snack inside the vending machine at the martial arts center you could take it over here to the cafe or maybe if you wanted to before your class started you could work on some homework or you could could play around on your laptop. I've also converted this into a Japanese restaurant slash sushi bar, which I will be uploading to the gallery if I haven't done so already. So if you don't want to download Kai's Martial Arts Studio, but you want the setup, you can have a restaurant instead. I'm actually going to be like creating a save. I'm not going to say like I'm going to create a whole save. Okay, that's just too much. That's just too much dedication, too much of a commitment. But I am going to be finishing Evergreen Harbor as kind of like a little test run. And in it, you will have Rockridge. You can play around with all the different lots that I'm creating. And uh, yeah, y'all can let me, you know, know what you think. And then maybe just maybe I'll tackle more worlds. But recently, I started playing around with the apartment complex over over here so I added in like a little AC unit I fenced it off I put in even more cars because this whole parking lot was completely empty for some reason I added this little fire like fire I don't know what the heck this is like fire alarm system and then I wanted to add stuff up here like bikes and stuff but I was limited with tool but instead I decided to place in a vending machine. I do have like a little area where the residents of this apartment complex can come and grill up some food if they want to. And I think that's about it for now. I added in like I added in some some trash and stuff because this area of Evergreen Harbor, Rock Ridge, is definitely a little ran down. And I like that. It's not completely ran down in the way that I have plans for San Myshuno. Well, not all of San Myshuno, specifically the Spice District, but it's definitely, it's definitely close for sure. And what I love the absolute most about this city, this town, it's not really even a city, is that it at night, it actually like the buildings do illuminate. So it just, oh my gosh, it like comes to life at night. I love it. And the reason why I decided to do this is because when Amy was moving from San Myshuno, I didn't have a place to move her to. I didn't feel like she would just automatically go to the suburbs. I mean, she just moved out of that rinky dinky apartment in San Myshuno where it was infested with rats and roaches. And then having her move into this perfectly manicured home in the hills just didn't sit well with me. I wanted to create a town that was the perfect place for the young adult purchasing their first home and still working on leveling up in their life. And that is how Rockridge was born. And that is how we moved into this home here. I did do a speed build on this as well if you guys want to check it out. But it's currently unfurnished. And that is because I am taking a more realistic approach with Amy. I am kind of furnishing it as I go. Right now we are sleeping on an air mat 
mattress. Woo woo. And we also are using <laughs> automatic lights. Yes, yes, yes. So that means whenever she enters a room, obviously it'll light up. I'm trying to save on bills. It is a two bedroom home though, which is great. This particular room right here is very teensy tiny, but I do envision that at some point I could turn it into a home office. For now, it's just our little storage room, but this is her main room here. And we do have two bathrooms, which is amazing. I love that. I was able to fit a lot into this build and I love this part, especially because when it comes to the winter fest time, I want to put like a little a little Christmas tree here. So right now Amy's home is still really empty, but I can't wait until she earns enough simoleons to be able to finally furnish it. Speaking of simoleons, that brings me to today's base game update. Today the Sims team began rolling out a brand new feature called Discovery Quests. What is a Discovery Quest, you ask? So glad that you did. Discovery Quests are quests that help you discover more cool things about the game. You want to know even more? Sure thing. These quests will point out key parts of gameplay and help you learn about features and activities key to a great Sims 4 experience. But wait, there's more. If you play through a discovery quest, you can claim some in-game rewards. You can add more to your Sims household from simoleons to potions and even satisfaction points. What all can you do and claim? You're so inquisitive. We love that. Here are some quests you'll be able to play through. Scoring simoleons. Explore different ways your Sims can earn money. Complete this quest and earn some, you guessed it, simoleons. Navigating needs. Under Understand the different needs your sims have and how to keep your sims happy. Skillful sims. Navigate and learn how to help your sims gain new skills and level up their lives. You and your phone. Phones offer your sims so many capabilities. Explore this quest to learn more about everything you can navigate through your phone. Lifelong aspirations. This quest is all about how sims can work through and eventually complete their aspirations. Always on the move. Your sims would love it to see the world beyond the their home. Let them experience new worlds. You can find the discovery quest settings and game options under tutorials and tips. In the spirit of Halloween, aka Spooky Day, we received a full body pajama that's available for children all the way up to elders. 99% of the swatches, I would say, are Void Critter related. So we have a bunch of characters from the Void Critter collection. There are a couple like Spooky Day ones, which I'll go over in just a second. But first, I'm going to show you guys the Void Critters. I love the details on these super cute with the hoodies and like all the little details on the bum. I thought those were super adorable. I really like this like galactic one. And then I think there's one more over here. I'm not sure the names of the void critters, so I'm not going to read those out to you. But in terms of other types of characters from The Sims, we have the traditional freezer bunny, which is super cute. We also have a Grimm's outfit here. It does look a little bit weird on like this fleece texture, but I like it. And then the last, I would say the last like spooky day variant is the freezer, what is it, like the bone freezer bunny? I'm not sure what the off, like official name, I almost said authentic. I'm not sure what the official name is, but I really, really, really like this watch. Like, I think this one is probably my favorite out of all of them. This last one, I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be, if it's supposed to be like a llama corn, a unicorn, or hey, maybe it's another void critter. I honestly have no idea, but if you know, let me know in the comments down below. Since the delivery quests are still fairly new, I don't know a hell of a lot about them, but one thing I do know for sure is that when I started up my saved game, I received this phone call that said incoming delivery quest, scoring simoleons. There are many different ways to make a few simoleons. Let's learn the ropes to scoring some simoleons. I have three different options. I could exit out of the prompt. I could maybe save the prompt for later. Not sure what this time clock means. And then obviously I could accept it, which I did. And then once I had, there was this little like a gift box up here that says scoring simoleons. And then when you click the question mark to learn a little more about it, it basically says the exact same thing that it did in the phone call prompt. However, when you do scroll over the simoleon sign, it just says simoleons are used to purchase new furniture, decorations, and many more things a sim would ever need. And there's also a op to end the quest because I need simoleons bad. I accepted. I actually got 400 simoleons just from accepting the phone call, which was pretty awesome considering Amy does start work in two days. And we were just barely surviving on the simoleons. I think I had maybe be like 500 ish or so. I'm very curious to see what is going to happen 
with this quest it does seem like it's a perfect way to get new players acquainted with the game maybe even get existing players to be a little more engaged with the game i'm not entirely sure what to expect but one thing is for certain i do want to take the moment out here to maybe purchase a couple things for amy and then as we kind of explore my current household together i will tell you more things that have been happening in her life now if i'm being completely honest i haven't had a ton of time to really like play with her since the last update but there have been obviously a few um, major changes and the reason why it's so dark right now is because I have auto lights on I think I've mentioned this but I'm trying to save money I personally hate auto lights so bad but it's a really good way to like cut some costs so I think I want to grab a couple chairs here I think I'm gonna snag these little bar stools they are um, they are custom content and they're by Brazen Lotus I really love like this brown swatch. I'm, again, trying to go about this a little more realistically than I would normally. So I'm not really sure what one I want to go with. Maybe I'll go with the brown ones. Or actually, could we just do like a darker silver instead for now? I just need her to have a way to like sit up here because every time I have her grab stuff or like eat anything, she like, sometimes when she grabs a cup of water, she'll sit in the bathtub. It's so weird. But I really need her to have like a place to sit. And then I think I need to grab maybe one more light over here. I'll put it in the actual kitchen and what else could I do for her at the moment I just think I want to save I do have like a few things here that I can sell this flash drive I'm gonna put out just because there's photos on it that I would like to maybe like display or keep I have a bunch of things I could sell to you as well I don't know <gasps> she did bring her laptop oh my god I thought she left this behind in the apartment it is so nasty baby girl it is time for an upgrade I do need to get some groceries but I think I'll wait. The one thing that I wanted to do is I actually wanted her to come in here and purchase home insurance because if there is a fire or anything happens, I think we're like covered a little more than we would be traditionally. So let me go and have her purchase some home insurance. Amy's trying to be, you know, a responsible homeowner. Home insurance quote, we're here to help you get the coverage you need for your home. Make sure that the information you provide is accurate and complete to the best of your knowledge. House insurance prices are based on the region you live in and if you have any fire safety equipment installed at your property. You currently live in a low region area with a starting price of $300. We can see from our records you don't have a smoke alarm installed at your property. This will increase your policy price by 50 simoleons. Um, I'm pretty sure I do have a smoke alarm. It's literally right over my fridge, but okay. We can see from our records you don't have a fire prevention panel installed at your property and this will also increase your policy by 50 simoleons. Here is the quote based on the information you provided us. So we have two different options. We can either check out with a cost of 400 simoleons or a cost of 300 simoleons. I'm not entirely sure what are the perks and benefits of going with a higher a higher premium, but because our funds are quite low, I think I'm going to check out with the $300 policy. Hopefully this is a smart choice. We can either pay for our policy either seasonally with four equal installments of 85 simoleons simoleons or we can do a one-time single payment of 300 simoleons we don't have a lot of money like I've mentioned a thousand times but I really don't want to have that looming over my head so Amy is going to pay a one-time premium or a one single payment rather of 300 simoleons again this is annually so I'm pretty sure like when summer rolls around we might actually have to pay for this again it says home insurance welcome to home insurance underwritten by the insurance company no need to panic we got you covered our normal working hours are Monday through Saturday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Our claim line is open 24-7. Amy was just about to head off to her martial arts class when she forgot her damn thermos. So I'm gonna have her go and grab that really quick. It isn't going to help with her energy, which by the way, <laughs> moving and getting everything situated definitely depletes one's energy. But I think I'm gonna have her redeem some points later so that she can get a sleep replacement because I don't necessarily want to replace her moodlets. Also, I did create a little martial arts class group. So we have Kai, the martial arts studio owner. We have Mirza, her soon-to-be best friend. And I think that's about it. And I just noticed that Mir me and Mirza have bad comp compatibility. That's crazy. I'm not going to lie. It is really, really hard for Amy to get along with a lot of Sims. She's kind of a very 
nitpicky person, I guess. I think we know that about her, but hopefully we can we can change that because I love Mirza so much. It would suck if they like couldn't become closer, but they are all they are already so close. I don't know. Anyway, the only thing that I don't like about having a group and then showing up at the dojo is that if you do include the martial arts master he won't show up as the master but it's okay I just really wanted to introduce you guys to Kai you've probably already seen him but I just wanted him to you know show up and be here so we're gonna go inside really quick I think class starts in about 25 minutes I'm gonna have Miss Amy go and take a little drink of her protein shake she also probably should go to the bathroom her bladder is a little low so I'll have her do that as well and then after she is done drinking her protein shake we're gonna just come into the reward store and I'm gonna purchase a sleep replacement because I don't want to replace all of her moodlets right now so that's 400 points that's fine we still have like 2,000 and then I'm gonna have her drink that too she's getting older she needs all of the pick-me-ups that she can get Kai's just observing the class right now and oh did I tell you I didn't tell you I haven't told you much about Amy like I said not a lot has changed in terms of her love life but in terms of her personal life like I said she's She's really just focusing on her mental health. She's focusing on her physical health. And joining this martial, martial arts class has really helped with all of it, actually. It's helped with her burnout and given her a sense of um, purpose, I guess, too. It's It's been a really big blessing because it's also allowed her to kind of channel, you know, her inner anger issues out onto something a little more, more productive. And she's also met this hunk, Kai Soto. So I did tell you guys in the, the, like the speed build of the martial arts a little bit about him. So if you're interested in learning more about about how he became the owner of the studio. You should definitely watch that video. But um, one thing about Miss Amy is she has developed a little bit, a little bit of a crush. In the shadows, an anonymous heart beats faster. Amy leaves subtle hints and gestures, hoping to capture Kai's attention. Amy's admiration remains concealed, adding an air of mystery and excitement to their connection. I don't know why the hell this thing's busted. I think it's actually the mod itself. I'm not sure, but I don't really care. I just love the fact that you know she has like this little she has this little crush on him i'm thinking once amy reaches level three or four of the martial arts skill i might actually just give her the disciplined trait which comes with the mod that way she'll level up faster it just seems a little unrealistic for her to already be so disciplined and so invested into this brand new skill when she's quite honestly just started actually i think she's only attended maybe a couple different classes but with that said <laughs> she's she's proving me wrong she's already reached level two of the skill and she can now discuss more martial arts techniques with other sims and has unlocked the yellow martial arts belt via the closet super cool i love that for her i'm wondering if this is gonna end up ever doing anything like it keeps giving me a little icon that something's happening but nothing is happening class just ended about 30 minutes ago and miss amy is just chatting it up with kai talking about the class he's giving her some tips and tricks on how she can perfect her techniques just a little bit more but she's actually reached level three of the martial arts skill and i think that that means Amy can now practice her knife hand strike technique on the board breaker. She can also research martial arts tips on the computer and has unlocked the orange martial arts belt via the closet. Amy can now use the wood boards on the board breaker. Pretty cool. And she's reached level five of the fitness girl. I don't know what she told this man, but she is feeling super freaking embarrassed right now. Hopefully she'll be able to redeem herself because the martial arts studio is only a couple blocks away. Amy quite literally runs home every single night so I'm thinking it probably would be best to invest in a bicycle here because it takes way too long for her to get home but because she is feeling a little energized right now I might just have her hop on the computer and work on some of her work tasks she really needs to work on her programming and I would love to get to the point where we could start making our very own app she's not there quite yet and I can't recall what level you need to have in the programming skill until you're able to do that but for now I'm just having her work on a little side job so that she can earn some more simoleons. It says, I'm looking for someone to make a blog about my cat, and I think you're just the person for the job. Think you can get that done for me? Of course you can. I haven't actually decided if Amy is a cat person or not. Like, There's a part of me who thinks she is, but then there's another part of me who thinks she just despises animals altogether because she's never shown any interest in actually owning one. While Amy's working on that side job, I thought it'd be beneficial for us to go 
through her storage so that way she can get rid of some of the clutter that she simply doesn't need. For instance, Alex's old gaming console. We're gonna sell that bad boy for 320 simoleons. Yes, gamey, gamey. <laughs> Amy loves to game, but at some point she'll be able to afford her own console and she doesn't need her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend's, I'm sorry, hand-me-downs. There is also the city skyscraper snow globe he gave her. She's gonna hold on to that. Um, we have an award that she earned and then a couple items from Salvadorada. I think I want to keep these too, especially like the Amiskin doll. I don't really think it's worth much, but these are just little like, you know, trinkets and things that she has kind of collected along the way. Uh, the computer hard drive can probably go. I don't really see a need for that. So now we have 916 simoleons, which is great. I think we can finally get rid of the air mattress. There is one thing about Amy that is for certain. She does not play when it comes to her sleep. So I want to make sure that I get her something that doesn't break the bank, but also won't break her back. I think I'm going to go in with this bed frame. I really, really, really like it. It kind of looks like my own personally. And I really want to go with this wooden bed over top but my only issue is that it is a bed it already has its own frame so I'm not sure if this is gonna function it's gonna look a little silly on the sides I think but it's all right like it's not totally a deal breaker okay that leaves us with 562 simoleons i know i called this like a current household update earlier i should just called it like a play with me session because that's quite literally what it is and that's fine i haven't really told you too much about amy's life because like i said there really isn't a lot to tell we're just still kind of figuring things out as we go um and we're getting settled into our new place Ooh, i like this dresser it's 80 simoleons i'll take two how do we like that so far i feel like that's really pretty pretty actually. I wouldn't have ever thought of Amy as someone who likes the color beige, <laughs> but I mean, she seems to be kind of gravitating towards it. Also, it's like the theme of the house. So maybe what I'll do is I'll like switch up the color of her speaker. We're going to make it white. Um, and then I think I want to also pick her up maybe a plant for this room and maybe, 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 maybe if I can afford it, I'm also going to grab, um, I'm also going to grab, let me see here, a rug. I don't know if any of this stuff is going to actually, like, is it going to look okay? Is this too, like, I'm trying to think, is this too, is this Amy? I don't know. It doesn't feel like her. It kind of does. It kind of feels like Amy. Maybe it's like Amy's new era. All right. Anyways, if you heard me burp, <laughs> just ignore that. Okay. We're just going to keep moving on. I like this plant. It's not too expensive. Okay. So let's move on to the rug. Ooh, this one's super pretty. I think this is just a like runner. So that would be really pretty in like the hallway. Can I afford that? Ooh, it's only 30 simoleons. I could totally afford that. And then what else could we get her? I kind of want to do this rug here. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. Ooh, that is so pretty. Maybe something lighter though. Large what the hell is that? I have no idea what that was. Um, let me see if there's anything else. There's like a little furry rug here. I don't know if I like this one or th that one. I think I'm going to go with this one. I really like that actually. And then this runner, I might just sell for now. I know I like had it for five seconds and then I changed my mind. But if anything, um, I want to grab maybe a lamp to put next to the bed here. I really like the shape of this lamp. But I'm not sure if I'm going to find one that's actually going to work with the colors in this room. So I'll probably have to skip that. There is this little candle in here. I like that, but it's just a little too small. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Do you see why I never build with you guys? Because we'd be sitting here forever. That's why I do everything off camera. Okay. Let me just see if I can find something for the love of God. What about this one? Ew, no, that's definitely not it either. How about that? That's kind of pretty. It's definitely unique and different, which I think would be something Amy would really kind of like. I, okay, I'm digging this. I'm digging where we're going with it, Ames. Totally. We just need like a mirror or something, and I think we're pretty much set. So I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to turn off all the lights. Actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to do auto lights. And then I'm going to do this one always on. 
I like that. It gives a nice little glow in here and it doesn't feel too, too dark. I have some pretty good news this morning. Amy finished her side job, which gave us 761 much needed simoleons and our bed does work. I'm going to have Amy get up and brush her teeth. I did want her to go downstairs and purchase a subscription box. I am in the process of making a grocery store and I'm actually going to put it down where the, I think it's called like Spruce Woods Square is. Currently, it's like a community lot where you help garden and do things here in Evergreen Harbor, but I'm going to turn it into a grocery store because I think it would be perfect. The only reason I haven't done it so far is because we just had an update today and it broke Tool, it broke the UI Cheats mod, and it broke Better B better <laughs> better Build By. Better Build By, which are all the mods I need to be able to do it. So let me have her come inside and make something really quick. I don't know what we're going to make for breakfast this morning. Uh, let me see. Have and serve meals, have breakfast. We're just going to make some, some pancakes. That actually sounds pretty good. And then I'll have her purchase that subscription box. I think we're going to meet up with Mirza here in a little bit. And it just dawned on me not that long ago that I didn't really tell you anything about her. Like I just assumed you've been watching the videos and you knew. And I kind of did the same thing for Kai too, which makes me feel really bad because these, these Sims are kind of important in Amy's life. And I just feel like I haven't told you much about him. So in addition to Amy getting her head on straight, um, she's met some really cool people along the way. Kai, he is a super sweet family-oriented individual who idolizes his late grandfather. His grandfather is the one that actually passed down the martial arts studio in his name when he passed away. I can see why Amy gravitates towards him, but she's just she's just feeling a little a little out of his league. Oh, summer break starts tomorrow. That's crazy. Okay, let me also tell you a little bit about Alex. There's definitely some trouble in paradise happening there him and marissa are not seeing eye to eye lately um actually Alex recently quit his job, which has led to Marissa carrying the weight of the entire household. She is sick and tired of basically just, you know, having Alex or allowing Alex to do the bare minimum. He's doing close to nothing and she's just doing it all. And that is not really somebody she wants to spend the rest of her life with. I don't know how Alex just keeps getting these high quality girls. Somebody told me that once he finds out that Amy's got her life together, he's going to come a creep in it like a spider. Mealtime subscription at Start Grocery, grocery Subscription Service. Join the Mealtime Grocery Subscription Service for only 50 simoleons delivered every Monday. Hey, 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 just in time, Amy. This is what we're going to have to settle for until, until we're able uh, to build that grocery store. So Amy here has the self-sustaining moodlet. It says there's no better feeling than cooking with already owned ingredients. I don't know how you did that when you don't actually have any. I mean, maybe she did actually. That is true. That is true. Let's check on our strawberries here. It looks like they're ready to be harvested. So we're going to harvest all of those and then I might need to give them or give them a little bit of water. Nope, they're doing great. Okay. So today is our last day before we have to go to work. We've already completed our daily task of programming and now we just need to reach level five of the video gaming skill. But I wanted to go and just kind of hang out with Mirza a little bit at the thrift tea shop down in Copperdale. I just, it's hard to get out of this neighborhood now. It makes me so sad. I love it so much over here. So Okay, this is um, this is Rockridge and I'm considering calling all of this Rockridge or maybe, you know, it could be Rockridge and this could be like Spruce Wood, like little cities within a bigger world. I haven't really decided, but this is where I'm going to put the supermarket because if you actually go in to this area here, it's next to like a bridge and stuff. It kind of feels very urban. And so... I want to, you know, I want to build on that a little bit. And then over here is just very residential. There is this lot that it might turn into something else. I haven't quite decided. And I think this place is just going to be very commercial. Amy just met Mirza at the thrift tea shop. And right now she's just talking about their latest martial arts class. I also have a feeling that she might drop the big bomb. The bomb that she thinks Kai is the bomb.com. So what I think I'm going to have her do is I'm just going to put that out there, that energy out there. We're going to just, we're going to see what she thinks about Kai. So I guess this falls underneath gossip, which is kind of weird, but we're going to give it a go. I'm going to ask her, what does she think about our martial arts? 
instructor. Cool. Hopefully, it's good things. Hopefully, it's nothing but good <laughs> yes. things. Ooh, she's like, I like Hi. He's pretty cool. She's like, why do you ask? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, Miritza, I kind of like him too. Amy, really? You like our martial arts instructor? Oh, wait, hold on. Graham's here. Let's go to the flea market and see if we can find any rare treasures. And by that, I mean awesome junk. Oh, that's like my love language. It really is. I love that. That was so thoughtful, Graham. Unfortunately, I'm a little busy today, but maybe next time... Sim Sessions is happening right now at the Magnolia Blossom Park in Willow Creek. Are you ready to go see the performances? This has never happened to me in game ever, and I'm pretty sure it's due to a mod that I've recently installed. I've always wanted to see what ses Sim Sessions was like, so there's a huge part of me that wants to go like right now. I wonder if I say no thanks, if I'll be able just to go there later. You know what? I think I'm going to go because this is like an opportunity that me and Mirza can't pass up. Let's just say maybe Thrifty was giving out free concert tickets and we scored a pair. Welcome to Sim Sessions. Gather around the stage and enjoy the live performances. The festival will last all day and go into the night. After your sim will have the chance to get up and go on stage and perform. While you're here, don't forget to grab some swag, make friends, cheer your heart out, and soak up the musical inspiration all around. If your sims party a bit too hard, there are tents to catch a quick nap and change outfits, food stands to grab a snack, and a merch stall to pick up some handy items and fantastic t-shirts. Have fun and enjoy the show. I wanted to hop into Amy's calendar really quick just to see if maybe the whole Sim Sessions music festival thing would show up there and it looks like it does. I'm not entirely sure if it's just based on summer or when it would occur but it looks like the music festival starts at 12 20 p.m and it will end tonight at 12 20 a.m. So quite literally, it's an all-day thing. The only thing that kind of sucks is that it's actually <laughs> freaking storming or really cloudy today here in Willow Creek, but I love this. This is definitely a mod. I'll link it down in the description or on my website so that you guys can get your hands on it. And if you've missed some sessions like I did, I think it was like last summer or maybe the summer before that, then your Sims can experience it. They should have left this in. Why was this like a limited, limited edition thing? Because this is so freaking amazing. Like, this is really cool. So there's like signs showing you the way to the festival, which I think is really cute because at first I did not see it. And then here is where the whole like sim sessions event takes place. So we have a few different tents here. We also have this beautiful stage. And then over here are a couple different like vendor carts. So I think this is like the swag station. And then over here we can grab some food, which is awesome. I just noticed that Mirta wants to enthuse about a new show she's such a geek i love that and then she also would like to play chess and get to know what's her name i think her name is maela i'm not sure anyways as i was saying earlier about poor Graham, we kind of left that dude on red. Like, I'm not even kidding. We just aren't interested in him. I couldn't, I mean, Graham's cute. He really is. But uh, I just, he's just not Amy's type. If I'm being honest, he's just not. He's not Amy's type. Amy just needs someone different. And she is so picky that I'm not even quite sure I know what her type is. Other than Alex, I honestly do not freaking know. But let's get these ladies over here. We're probably going to purchase some swag because, hello, we're at the music festival. I'm really hoping though that somebody is going to come on stage and play soon. It's still really early. I'm not going to hold my breath, but let's see what happens today. I wonder if she's like hot in that. That looks really, really, really warm. Okay. I think Mirsa is already like there. She's so excited. Oh, look at how many Sims are showing up to this concert. Oh my God. You can buy crystals here. Are you freaking joking? I need a crystal. I need all the crystals. <laughs> Who's playing? Oh my God. Cool. That's really awesome. I love all these like band shirts and stuff. This is so interactive. I'm like really excited for this. I wasn't expecting this to happen today. All right. So it looks like Amy is about to gather around the stage. We're not going to do that. We are going to. Oh, gosh. Is this a full body outfit? I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure what Amy is wearing right now is a full body outfit. So let me get her into something else. It's actually starting to warm up which is great. The sun's coming out and stuff. So I'm not going to feel too weird about her wearing something different. So let's give her, what is the, 
oh no that's her i was like is that really her warm weather wear like she's wearing a whole a whole freaking snowsuit okay so we're gonna put her in that and then oh my gosh mirits is ready to fight somebody pissed her off on social money <laughs> i feel like inside she 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 has a little she has a little spice to her but yeah let's buy festival t-shirts let's buy and change into the festival t-shirts so these are the ones that we can purchase we can buy and wear a summer of sims t-shirt there's just a regular sim sessions we could do um a joy fan t-shirt glass animals bb i don't know how to say that <laughs> i think these are all the all the ones here i really like glass animals i feel like if if any of the like performers were ones amy would be looking forward to it'd be glass animals so let's just say at the thrifty store we won a pair of tickets to glass animals I love that. Okay, so we're each going to get one, even though I feel like um, Mirza is more of a BB fan. <laughs> she's just probably going with the flow, you know? Just, just, she's a little bit of a follower, and that's okay. So I think we both got the same shirt. Oh, they're just in two different colors. Oh my goodness. I really want them to take pictures together of this. This is amazing. This is exactly how Amy needed to spend her Sunday. She's like looking at her bestie, like, yes, girl, we're rocking these shirts. Thank you for purchasing our limited edition. Sim Sessions t-shirts. The clothing you have purchased will be available in cast for your Sims household to use. Feel free to change your outfits in one of the nearby tents. I love that. Nobody's playing though. That's kind of like concerning. I wonder when they're going to start. A whole bunch of people are circling this crystal table, which is pretty cool. But hopefully, 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 um, we'll get some performers soon. I'm going to actually have Amy come over here and purchase one of these crystals just because I feel like they're going really fast. I love this though. Oh my goodness. What else can we do? Is Amy like feeling like she needs a nap or anything? Nope. Actually, everything's pretty good. It is also a new skill day as well. So let's see what happens. Get on stage. We can rent the stage. Um, stage effects, dance near the stage, we can gather around. Do I feel like I, I mean, I kind of almost feel like I have to have somebody come perform here because nobody is actually, like, performing yet. And I feel like there should be somebody here. So I'm wondering if I need to get somebody in here. Or maybe eventually something will happen because Sims are def definitely gathering around. So fingers crossed something happens. They're all they're all freaking out for for some reason. So hopefully, okay, there goes something's happening. All right, here is Miss Joy. Yay! I love this. Oh my God! Look at everybody gathering around. Let's change up the stage effects. Can we? Oh, we can't when there's an event going on. All right, so we're just going to be very quiet. But while we're watching this performance, let me tell you a little bit how Mirza met Amy. So Mirza and Amy actually met at work. One day Amy was in the lunchroom and she was like sobbing, like literally crying after getting into another fight with Alex. And then Mirza noticed and she sat down and just tried to like console her and asked her what was wrong and took out the time to really listen and empathize with her. And as sad as it is, this was truly one of the very first times that Amy ever really felt seen by a stranger, anyone for that matter. And so this really was the incident that kicked off their friendship. And Amy doesn't know where she would be without her her newfound friend Mirza. This is such a great event. I'm so excited to see the other performers. Amy though does have a fear of large crowds. I don't know why that is but lately she's just been so anxious around large crowds and so I'm gonna have her kind of break away from the performance for a little bit and just you know take a breather because she is of course feeling a little overwhelmed. So let me have her go into the bathroom really quick and freshen up but I think Mirza on the other hand is really just really 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 vibing it right now it says music in the air from watching opening artists perform experiencing a live performance as amazing as this brings out all the good feelings happiness overload good vibes good sims love to bask in positive emotions of other sims she does have a sobering up <laughs> mirza is slightly inebriated i don't know where she got the drinks from but could you imagine like maybe packing a cooler or something and bringing this here like you could totally totally bring your own your own um your own stuff maybe the song is like reminding her of alex oh oh my god it is 
That's exactly what's happening right now. Oh, poor Amy. When it comes to my Sims going through anything just remotely painful and I'm invested in them, I will start crying. You guys know this is true, but I started getting teary eyed just thinking about what Amy's going through right now. Like she got these tickets to see Wild Animals, her favorite alternative band, and then all of a sudden, Joy steps on stage as the opening act and she plays that song that brings back all of the memories of her and Alex, the memories of her sitting at her old old apartment desk in San Maishuno, just journaling her heart out while listening to Joy and just drenching the pages in her tears, just wishing and praying that they could just love each other hard enough to where they would do everything and anything to make it work and somehow their differences would just disappear and it never happened. And when she heard that song and she was in that crowd, which she's so afraid of, by the way, it was just too much. It was too much. It was too much. It was just too much. In fact, she actually wants to text Alex. And just as Amy was about to reach for her phone, Mirza texts her, letting her know that the next performer is about to jump on stage. She's going to grab a quick snack before the next performance, but I still think Amy is going to text Alex. Against her better judgment, that song, that performance just moved her, and she just wants to text him and see how he's doing. Make sure everything's okay. I think she's stupid, but like... I'm not going to blame her, you know? Yeah. <sighs> I think she's ready to go back now. Maybe we should grab a snack. Maybe some food will definitely make us feel a little bit better. It's already like 5.30. What did Mirza get? I have no idea. What is there to even get from the stall? Oh, we can do pretzels, pizza. That sounds good. Ooh, french fries. This is everything and anything that <laughs> Amy should not be having right now. What's a super chocolate Tummer's bomb. That looks really, really good. You know, I'm going to do a pretzel. I really wanted to go for pizza, but I think I'm going to go for the pretzel. It's a little bit later into the evening and it's also like several actual days later. So the update's been out for a few days. I'm going to leave that footage in just in case it's news to you. But I noticed we have another one of those discovery quests. It says navigating needs. Open the needs panel, use the toilet, take a shower or bath. And I believe the reward for this is a potion. I'm just going to continue the quest. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish all the tasks. I think I should be within this video and we can get our little potion, but I don't know. This is cute, but I feel like it's a little redundant. Like, I feel like we have so many, um, like, tips and tricks and things and how to navigate the Sims. It's kind of cool, though, to get something out of it. And I'm not going to lie, that, that $400 was pretty dang helpful, but... I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. Anyways, Amy's feeling a little bit better. Alex has not texted her back, which makes me feel kind of sad. Ooh, look at Aaron and Mirza talking. It's too bad this guy's married. Otherwise, I could see a budding romance happening. I installed a mod that actually reshapes Sims to look a more little realistic as they are, I, I would say, at a higher weight. And so Mirza definitely looks a little bit different. She has always been kind of more of a thicker girl and for me I feel like this is more of an accurate representation of what she looks like so I'm really excited I love this mod I feel like there's just more body types not everybody looks the same it's cool anyways this is I think the second artist to hit the stage his music is absolutely beautiful I don't know how long we're gonna stay here for it's because Amy is feeling really overwhelmed and uncomfortable like she's feeling better for a second it just kind of comes in waves I love how this dude what is he doing like actually what is he doing <laughs> he must have had way too many nectars or eapas because he decided it was in nap time amy was feeling pretty down in the dumps that she hadn't heard back from alex so she wanted to see if on social bunny maybe just maybe he messaged her there because you know marissa and all although he didn't message her directly he did post something on his social bunny feed it says i feel like amy has it all figured out moral support or advice they got your bag now the last part is a little iffy to me and i'm just gonna say that he texted i feel like amy has it all figured out but that is just like really bold of him especially because he's in a relationship and he's literally talking about his ex-girlfriend and then if we go wait a second amy let's go on vacation together this is literally rick right after she texted him i'm not joking <gasps> how do i feel about that want the good want the bad all the feelings Want you happy and sad in between them 
If there's one thing I truly believe in Ordinary love, ordinary love I wanna oversleep in your shirt Cause it's ours Brush my teeth while you're taking a shower If there's one thing I know there is there's about less than an hour left of the Sim Sessions Music Festival, and I can't even begin to explain to you guys how much fun I've had in this little event. I really, truly do wish they would make this a permanent feature of the game, or at the bare minimum reintroduce more things like this, because seriously, I can't even believe I missed out. Like, this was so much fun. Fun. It actually makes me wish that we had bands. So our closing artist is BB. And you know, I mean, right now, Miss Amy is feeling very, very confident. I was able to get her to take a bunch of different pictures and stuff. And I think after this, we're probably going to head home. She is feeling really tired and we do have work tomorrow. So it's probably best if she leaves now before everyone else does. As much fun as Amy had at the music festival, she's super excited to be back home. Something about this place just really brings her a ton of of peace and I don't I don't think she's gonna ruin all that by going on a vacation with Alex speaking of which I actually don't know if she would do that like I know she wants to but will she actually do it is the question and the fact that he even proposed that to her is kind of jarring actually so today was new skill day and we did level up in a skill we leveled up in our photography skill speaking of which I kind of wanted to show you guys the photos that I took I do have a lot of photos in Amy's inventory so it might take a quick second to pull out the ones that we took today and also it might be a little hard to see so let me just pull them by the light here but this one is of a BB. I think I have another one of Amy, which I thought was kind of cute next to the tents. There should be one of us in Mirza as well. And I think that actually might be all of them. This one's super, 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 super duper cute. I really, 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 really like that one. And oh wait, actually we took two with Mirza. So this is all the photos that I took today, but I want to like do something with these. So I'm going to put them back in the inventory. And once I actually have a place to hang them, then I will display them probably in her house but let's get Amy to bed I don't think she completed all of her work tasks no she did complete programming at least we just need to achieve level five of the video gaming skill and we should be pretty good to go for that next promotion and I think we're still on level six of the tech guru career so I'm gonna have her go to sleep and then in the morning she's gonna go to work under pressure Amy's new project is already falling behind schedule does she insist that everyone work late or try to persuade her boss that she needs more time I think Amy's gonna crack the whip because she really wants this promotion and it's gonna show that she's comfortable with the reins of leadership and she can take initiative Whew. The schedule is back on track and upper management is pleased. Amy's team is complaining pretty loudly, but at least this time they have a reason. She also gained a small amount of performance. Hey Amy, it's Graham. How are you? Oh, that's great. I'm so happy to hear it. Um, sorry to bother you. I just I just need to chat real quick. Uh, I have a question to ask you. Um, so <laughs> I think I have a crush on Lilith Pleasant. I was wondering, do you think it's worth a shot? You know, I knew this day was going to come. I don't think Amy was ready for it. There is a huge part of her that was always kind of curious about where things could go with Graham, but obviously she's kind of been stringing him along a little bit maybe, so I think it's time to let him go. I mean, Graham absolutely deserves love too. I want him to do what his heart tells him to do, but also I kind of want him to go for it because... I don't really feel like Graham's super bold in that way. So we're going to say, you know what, Graham? You never know until you try. Unfortunately, Amy didn't get the promotion and we could have really used it because our bills just came in and I'm pretty sure they're almost the exact amount. Well, they're about $40 more than what we received today. But we need to pay those bills because we're not trying to lose our home. And uh, well, it looks like I can't pay the bills from here. So let me just try to pay the bills over here. It's kind of weird to do that, but I'm going to do it anyways. It looks like we have another incoming discovery quest skillful sims all tickets and play around with that a little bit later i didn't realize you could actually stack these quests on top of each other so that's interesting but let's see if amy got her ah did we not get our 
Oh, we did. Okay, I was just wondering if we got our meal subscription. So let me open this up. It's 50 simoleons. And what did we get? I'm going to unpack this really quick in the kitchen just to see all the items that came in these subscriptions. So we got a bunch of tortillas. Okay, like three boxes of tortillas. We got, ooh, three cases of milk. That's great. Okay. Um, and then we ended up getting a couple wheels of cheese some butter eggs there's poultry red meat um rice which is great pasta uh unfortunately we didn't get any cereal i think i definitely could have used that because like what the freaking heck am i supposed to use for breakfast but i'm gonna have amy come over here really quick and put away all the groceries i feel like i have something that's conflicting with this mod and it kind of makes me sad but hopefully it'll work out because yeah this is definitely going to take a super freaking long time what the hell okay i'm gonna do this off camera because i'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me open up 45 freaking different packages <laughs> finally after what feels like 85 years amy is finished putting away the groceries and she is whipping up some mushroom soup yum psych i hate mushrooms like i literally cannot stand it although i will say i do like truffle butter like truffle butter fries are pretty fire so i'm gonna let her eat that she does need to shave her arms tonight and do a few other things and she's feeling very focused right now from moral support from eating a verdant mushroom Gardening with the help of this mushroom is no truffle at all. That's actually pretty funny. I like that. Very, very funny. A subscription box that can be opened for groceries. I love my grocery subscription. It's such a time saver, except I wish there was like more variety of stuff. You know, we didn't really get like a lot of vegetables or anything. So I'll have to play around with that. Also, I find it kind of weird that I can still cook even though I don't have the ingredients for certain recipes. So I feel like there's some tweaking I need to be doing for sure in my game. And I'll definitely do that before I do the next update. I think what I'm going to do, though, is just kind of play off camera for a little bit and make some progress in Amy's life. I'll let you guys know whether or not Amy goes on that vacation. But you guys can either give her some advice against it or maybe encourage her to do it. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope y'all enjoyed this little gameplay session with me. If you'd like to see more of them, just let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Ordinary love.